Chapter 1. Start to Disc 1. New Game. Subspace. Deep inside the Great Maze. It had been a long battle for survival, but he managed to stop the imbeciles from defeating him for real. Taboo, though, had been weakened during the battle. As he floated along in the void of the subspace surrounded by darkness and swirling purple and blue colors, he reflected on a disastrous end of the battle. Master Han had shown up right before Taboo could terminate the big group of smashers. As a last-ditch attempt, the omnipotent Han used his space-bending powers to recall each one of the Smashers to their worlds, back into the past before they participated in the Brawl Attorney and the war against the Subspace Army. He then called Crazy Hand, and both of them escaped from Taboo's clutches, effectually putting a sudden end to the conflict for the time being. Unfortunately, not everything was right. Master Han couldn't manage to save certain Smashers. Roy, Pichu, and Mewtwo had been killed by Taboo in the ensuing battle. Furthermore, Rob seemingly betrayed them all by siding back with Taboo. It became a huger disaster once Mr. Game & Watch had been caught once more. There was more. An unlucky Smasher was captured as well in his trophified state. Master Han didn't manage to save that one Smasher, much to his chagrin. Taboo kept him as a prize, but he would use his unrequited help very soon. Taboo grunted. It felt like an empty victory against the Smash Force, but he could at least relax and recover his power. As he pondered about what to do, a figure rolled into view over the cracked black floor of purple outlines. It was Ra, or rather, the ancient minister, wearing his clothes. The robot was alone with the biggest threat the universe faced, but there was a complete and absolute trust between the two of them. The ancient minister looked up at his boss. Lord Taboo, he began, what is your next course of action? Taboo remained silent for a few minutes until he spoke. My next course of action is to mobilize the army beyond this realm. He said. We managed to seize the land down below, even though I was weakened in this big battle. The minister looked down. It is going to take you a lot of time before your powers are back, right? He asked. Sadly, that isn't the case. Taboo said, nodding, his body glitching a bit. But until then, no one can reach us. It is dangerous for anybody to enter this place knowing that I rule it. I will muster up my power to create an ideal place for our base of operations. You, however, will be in charge of the outside world. The minister looked up and nodded. Yes, I will gladly reassume control over the facility. He said. Just give the word and we shall move out. I had my eyes on the other worlds. Taboo said. The worlds that those accursed smashers came from. I wish to conquer them all before they even have a chance to reunite and assemble their force. He explained. Once we have gathered enough worlds, we shall move on and conquer the biggest one there is. What? The minister said. Oh, you mean the rumored real world? Yes, you can run very fast. Taboo said. It is the real world that is the real prize behind the entire war. Those fools do not even know about the real world existing, but they are missing the big picture. He turned around. Ancient minister begin preparations to invade one of their worlds. The facility is slowly being taken out from the subspace. I want a subspace bomb to be deployed in Ness's world. The minister nodded and turned around, moving away from his boss. It shall be done. He said as he vanished in the darkness. And so begins my long struggle to work with this person once more. The ancient minister thought to himself. This isn't the time to rebel again. I need... I need to find the right time.